make this recipe, you will need roughly three to four lemons, kamu kamu berry powder, raw honey, or raw agave nectar is a great substitute as well, and lastly, four cups or one quart of water. Begin by slicing each lemon in half. I'm using a hand juicer, so I put each lemon face down inside and then squeeze. If your lemons are large, it is helpful to slice off the tips of the lemons before pressing them. Run the lemon juice through a strainer to catch the seeds, or you can squeeze directly into a bowl and fish the seeds out. If using a strainer, just make sure all that lemon juice makes it through. Three of my lemons have yielded about half a cup of lemon juice, so I will save the remaining pieces for some aesthetically pleasing garnish. Measure two tablespoons of the Kamu Kamu powder. Next, measure three tablespoons of raw honey or raw agave nectar. If you like your lemonade to be sweeter, add a fourth tablespoon of your sweetener, which will be a quarter cup. If you would like this to be even more on the tart side, you can add extra lemon juice. I've found a good balance to be about half a cup of lemon juice and three tablespoons of sweetener. Add all the ingredients to a blender. Start on low and then gradually increase the speed. Blend for about 30 seconds or until your lemonade is fully blended and you don't see any bits of the Kamu Kamu powder. Decrease the speed back to low and turn it off. Pour yourself a glass and then you can pour the remaining lemonade into a preferably airtight glass jar to preserve freshness, such as this Weck jar, but any jar you have on hand will do. Since Kamu Kamu powder is so intense and high in vitamin C, I only have one glass of this at a time. The serving size of Kamu is about one teaspoon, and that alone has 1,180% of the recommended vitamin C intake, and this recipe has well over that with the two tablespoons. And this is not a store-bought lemonade, nor a lemonade from Chick-fil-A that is so sweet you can hardly stand it. It is a homemade, healthy, refreshing lemonade with no chemical sweeteners or preservatives. I would recommend finishing it off within a week, but it will more than likely be all gone long before then.